Number eight is very similar to number seven where we realize that these numbers are larger than 90 and so we need to reduce them first. And because this is grade 11 work, I'm not spending too much time going over how to reduce. And so cos of 290, from the cost diagram, you would eventually work that out as cos 70. Remember to pause the video if you're not keeping up. It's very important. You pause the video and then you try the question yourself and or you try the specific part yourself and then carry on with me. All right, and then cos 330, that would eventually equal to cos of 30. Sin of 270, I mean 250, this one's interesting. The reason is, is that 250 is in this quadrant here, but sin is negative there. So you must remember that this will be negative sin 70. And the sin of 210, well, 210 is also in this quadrant, so it'll be negative sin 30. That's important. Now what I'm going to go do is just rewrite everything. So it's going to become cos 70 multiplied by cos 30 minus, then that's also a minus. So let me actually make some more space here. So in brackets, I'm going to say minus sin 70 and then negative sin 30. Okay. Now have a look here, guys. We've got two negatives being multiplied with each other, that negative and that negative. So that's going to make a positive. So I can just go cos 70 times by cos 30. This negative is going to stay as it is, but these two are now going to be positive. All right. And so here we are. We have a cos cos minus a sin sin. And so we have that here, cos cos minus sin sin. Now be careful. If you look on the other side, we are going to add them together in the brackets. Maybe you haven't seen that before. Uh, for the sin ones, if that's a plus, that's a plus. If that's a minus, that's a minus. But for the cos, it's opposite. If that's a positive, that's a negative. And if that's a negative, then that's a positive. So we have this one over here. And so that's going to turn out to be cos. And then we're going to add the angles together. So we're going to say 70 plus 30. And that's going to give us the cos of 100. Now, many of you would have stopped there. And I understand it seems like that's the logical thing to do. But that is not simplified. The reason is, is that this angle has all of a sudden gone above 90. So what that means is we could still reduce it. So we should know that 100 is somewhere in this quadrant. So it's going to become cos 80, but negative because cos is negative in that quadrant. 